Hello, Ashley. How are you? Oh, hang on. Something's broken. No, no, it's all working. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay? Okay. So strange, strange. Oh, whoa. Strange things are happening. Windows update ran, and then my microphone was stuck on zero percent volume. And I was having, I was shouting, and it when it was, I could barely hear myself in the background. Um, so there you go. So I wasn't actually late technically, because the stream takes a second to start up. It is, mm. but is it by German standards? By German standards, I'm a, I'm a failure and should be fired. Yes, I know. Britons are happy if there is a train. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a train, yay. Any... Exactly, yeah, exactly. Just got on the first... I, 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 at some point when the train's going wrong, I just get on the first train north. Whatever train, just as long as I'm heading upwards, I'm fine. Yes, I've never actually been an emergency bus. Um, but I have, I have my own, my own standards when it comes to train operators who have cancelled a train who then think that i should be limited on my options in traveling to my destination i'm i'm i will have an argument i mean at the end of the day right i've paid a train fare I, you, the, the train operators can argue amongst themselves over whose responsibility it is to move me but i have i you know it just depends on what sort of person you are Yeah, I mean you can you can always hold them to ransom. I mean you can refuse to go off the train. You see how we see what see what their manager's appetite is for a train that can't leave the station. Like, you know, there the, the are situations where you can kind of push them into a position where they'll let you go just because it's going to cost them more than just letting. And you've paid a fare. Like it's not like I'm not paying for a ticket. I paid for a ticket. You know. Yeah, I just want to go north. You know, and I get there late anyway. And you think because my ticket isn't for this operator, that's wrong. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't understand. If, if it's the case that the, your train is running, that's okay. Hello, Andrea. I noticed your dig at Windows. Is, is it, isn't it terrible Microsoft updating their operating system on a regular basis? I, no, I do updates very, very occasionally, and the ones I choose. Um, yeah, you, th this whole this whole website's telling you like which ones you really need. I mean, sometimes they're just updating for non for nonsense reasons. I mean, if, if you ever, okay, Andre went off. Ashley, have you ever used the Intel um, control panel? for your graphics card. No. So so what what Nvidia did, yes. Yeah. But you've never but you but you've never you've never used the control panel, so you don't need to update the control panel that you've never used. So, so you were saying, Andrea? So, so on, so Intel has this control panel, like it's called, it's called Intel Integrated Graphics Control Panel. It basically, lets you, you know, you can change the orientation of your screen if you, if you know you've, you want to put it on the side, and you can, you can just do things, right? But nobody ever uses it. I can't remember ever using it. So when I get the option to update it, I'm like, I'm never use it anyway. So what's the point? It's probably just horrendous spyware. That's what I think. Oh. 
Uh, well, I, I, I'm not going to delete it because there isn't much point in deleting it. I mean, I might need it one day. But, it's you kind know, of not... commercial-ish. Like, it, it's it feels... what, sorry? Yeah, although it's not like you don't use it, it feels very, like, bare bones. Like, here is a component of hardware and here is the thing that you can use to control it. Well, well the irony is, is that, is that you normally control it in Windows. You use Windows Display Manager. Mm. Right, it just it offers some other weird stuff for some fringe scenarios, like your screen is on the side or something. Yeah, I don't want that. Hmm. Oh no, no, okay, it's been renamed now the Graphics Command Center. Ooh. So, oh, and I just opened it, and it wants to connect to the internet. Why does my graphics card needs to connect to the internet? It does everything to the um, I keep getting ads about this um, app for coronavirus. Well, my daughter's flatly refused to download it or any other app which tracks her location. She makes me very proud. She refused it, like yeah, yeah, because uh, Noodle wanted to have it so that we could have that find my find my friend app. So because she's like going out on her own now to like the park and stuff. So, like, we know where we are, we know where she is, but she won't have it. She won't be tracked, and I'm very proud. Wow. <laughs> You're proud that she's not being tracked by her parents. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will but... par all parents, I mean, we wouldn't say that to her, but, like, all parents are kind of proud of their children in ways which the children don't realise. <laughs> yeah, but have you gotten her a two-way radio yet? It's a, if I, she, 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 she would, she would threaten to ring child lion. In fact, in fact, at one point <laughs> she actually threatened to ring child lion because we wouldn't give her a new iPhone. I think the child lion would laugh. They'd be like, "Hello." I, we were like, we were like, "Here's the number. Go tell them your iPhone 5 SE isn't good enough, right?" <laughs> like, if that's what it, she has an iPhone, it's just not got quite the right soft, right screen size. <laughs> that children these days are spoiled. She could have been on a two-way radio and the only person she could contact was her dad. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> there were no apps on there. There was no TikTok. <laughs> no, there was just a strange man who wanted to be your daddy. <laughs> yeah, there were some truckers. <laughs> there was, uh, there was a, a show in Romania, like Family Swap or something like that. They would send the mother of a, fam of a household. What, wife yeah, Swap. Yeah, Wife Swap. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, like you should do that with her. Like, send her to Romania to a family where they don't have electricity. <laughs> no, she she's completely spoiled. <laughs> That's the sad reality. Uh... It's kind of good though. Like sometimes I think like sometimes people are like, oh well, back in my day we had it really bad, so the next generation should have it very bad. And I'm like, mm, maybe not. So they like maybe not it. every. Maybe, well, I'm, they're not going to appreciate it. But maybe not every generation should have to go through two world wars. Like, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the, there are there are there are some extreme scenarios. I I, I agree that maybe you want to avoid. But I mean, I, I still. I mean, we have this. I mean, you you remember radio? Remember before the internet yeah. it was radio, right? Yeah. Like the like like my daughter, she cannot understand radio. She she can't understand. There's this thing that was broadcast everybody at the same time. She's like, well, how do you get the radio in the car without Wi-Fi? I'm like, it's the original Wi-Fi. To her, every, everything's on demand. There is no waiting and, and you know, hoping your song comes on the radio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. But it's like us not understanding, I don't know, the telegraph. Like, what? It takes hours? Or, like, I don't well, know, well, 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 exactly. Exactly. But the point is that your children, they will look back on you like waiting a fraction of a second for a YouTube video to start playing and think that's really bizarre when, when YouTube is beamed directly into their brain. <laughs> or worse. Goodness. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Hello. What are they going to think of my cassette player? Am I going to have to get a new car? So that they can both well, connect. It's been a long time since cars have had cassette players. My car's old, okay. Does it have a CD player? No, it has a cassette player. 
So it doesn't even have a um, CD. It's not. I mean, that, no. that, 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 that's some. That's some age. You've got to remember <laughs> that CD CD was actually co relatively common in the early eighties. Yeah. So, like for old folks. For old folks, yeah. That like their tapes. A, a disc. What do you call that disc? Thing? A vinyl. A vinyl, yeah. Yeah, a vinyl. You <laughs> should have that. Both came back. I don't know yeah, if you can have those in your car, though. It's nostalgia. There, <laughs> there, there was a in-car vinyl player. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah. Um, there was. Uh, I believe you only pay, played the seven-inch discs, no, not the full-size ones. Um, there were actually record players that had the disc vertically rather than horizontally. There were lots of funky designs. I feel like the whole disc design was kind of a flaw. Like, cassettes were chef's kiss in that they didn't skip around or have any issues and, like, there wasn't, like, the whole needle thing. Like, why didn't we do more of this tape stuff? It's because, great. Okay, because we got to remember at what point in time this this was. Like, what what equipment was available? Um, I've just, I've just, I've just found it. I'll send, I'll send you an image. But this is the point. The way that, the way that you're looking at these things now is the way that your children are going to look at your generation's things. <laughs> yeah, like. Oh. What do you mean your phones didn't bend? Ex well, precisely, yeah. <laughs> you mean there was no screen on the other side? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, there. I was just trying to think, like, what, like, what, <laughs> what would it be that they're used to that we're not? Well, what like, I, I, I think, mate, in twenty years' time, when you're like, you have to go and put your laptop on charge every three or four hours, will be absurd. You'd be like, well, what do you mean it doesn't last three months on a charge? You mean it doesn't charge itself on its own? Like, it's just That's a whole convenience. Else. You mean you had to actually choose to download the app? It didn't just download for you? Yeah, <laughs> massive security concern. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, yeah, yeah. You mean you had to actually, you'd have to actually see your face to unlock the screen? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I mean, that's the point. Nobody knows quite what it will be like. But we need more tape technology. CD, CDs, and records were a weird, a weird blip. Well, okay, tapes. Are t tapes are still used in some industries. They're um, great. Tape. Okay, so you know when Google, so, so you know Google has all its data centers all over the world, mm -hmm. and in these data centers, they store thousands of pet petabytes of data, which is like thousands of terabyte like, like amounts of data that are unimaginable like mm -hmm. how long do you think it would take to transfer that data over the internet to another data center like an eternity so they actually move it by putting it on tape and they physically ship the tapes to other data centers to get the oh. data there faster yeah wow. because tapes actually store can store a very very large amount of data more data than a hard disk drive um, really the problem is with tapes is that you can only read them sequentially. You read them from start to end, where a disk drive, you just get whatever bit of data you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no skip into song number five. You kind of yeah. have to do the, I think it's roughly this long of a hold, and then you stop, and then you're like, no, a little more. <laughs> um, I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, okay, so... This, this is this is an article from 2017 because I know they've come they've come on since then. Um, so this single car a sing, this single cartridge is 200 gigabytes per inch of tape, which is which is which is crazy. Like the future is tapes. Hello, hello, Kim. Hello. Hey. We were, ju we were just discussing bringing back tape as a thing. Discussing what? Bringing back tape, cassette tapes. Ah. Basically, Ashley wants it just because her car's got a tape player. Yeah, I make tapes. <laughs> I still play tapes. I'm, everyone hates it. Everyone's like, this is terrible. And I'm like, these tapes, you don't like, you know, 80s bands? What's wrong with the Beach Boys? 
Do you want you the Beatles with their early stuff or their later stuff? Because I got two two versions on two sides. <laughs> <laughs> two sides. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's annoyed, but I think it's great. <laughs> oh, Mosquito is back. Because well, it's not. It's not as crisp. Hello. It's not as what? It's not crisp. as like crisp as digital music because it's that like old tape sound. Well, I crisp. Crisp. But also, I'll throw another splatter in the works. There was digital cassette tapes. Ooh. So the fact there's a guy who did he did a history of the of, of all the different formats of, of audio storage, and they were all hybrids and all different ones. Um, and you know, do you remember, do you remember Laserdisc that was before oh, DVD? Oh. Well, kind of. Yeah. So those 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 were those were discs that were shiny and they looked like yeah. CDs, but they weren't. They were actually analog recordings. On on what looked, oh, but, they, but they looked like a digital a digital disc, but they weren't. They were analog. Um, <laughs> so like consumers will buy something to think it's newer. <laughs> okay, mosquito says, "How is everybody?" And then he says, "Tell Ashley I've been keeping my fingers crossed for her to find a job. How is it going? Oh. Good news or still looking?" Oh. 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 I got a job at Sainsbury's. Okay, cool. So doing their IT. Yay! No, picking grandma's orders in the middle of the night. <laughs> you see, that might actually be a paid to be a soft developer in the current climate. Yeah. So I'm halfway there. Cross some more fingers or some different ones, and we'll see what happens next time. Cool. So you're not going to starve to death then, literally. Hmm? You're not going to starve to death. Literally. No, I'm. I'm staving off the starvation. I'm able to continue living um yeah that's good you can we you want can that the word. that's good <laughs> yeah huh you can spread the word for the app if you're like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah, to all the grannies like <laughs> or, or print some business cards you could put them in their shopping i could they are all at home sheltering <laughs> <laughs> you can Shelter, yeah. some... i might get fired but <laughs> hey. Fine. Um <laughs> Okay, Mosquito says he's he's still learning React. Yes, so remember last time he told us he was he was he was learning Wait, React. Is he doing it on his own then? I assume so. Well he's not my student, so Yeah, I'm kinda of asking him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it does feel weird to like ask our follower directly because I can't them, even like, see. You can ask them anything you want. Um, so let me <laughs> get the old live share on the go. Uh, It actually seems like ages since we last had a session. Uh, I, I feel like know. the days are getting slower. Maybe, it's because not so much happens, I think. Is it that I thing agree. with the sun? Oh, it's getting, oh, darker. Yeah. It's getting darker earlier. Mm. So when, when, you, when you go to Sainsbury's, ask them, well, don't ask them this, right? Mm -hmm. Ask them why. If we're supposed to socially distance and keep far apart, have they reduced their opening hours so people have to shop in a narrow window closer together? So there's more time for the people who need to pluck orders for grannies to run around the store like a madman. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, but they did that fine before through the night. So. But there wasn't as much demand. Yeah, but people have, st people have stopped up now. Like they can't still be continuously the same degree of demand. I think a lot of grannies are locked up at home in their barricades, regularly ordering their shopping now, where they never went online before. They don't know what the internet is before. Well, they'll know now. They, yeah, now they know. And Sainsbury's is like, we liked no. it before when the grannies didn't know about the internet. I think a lot of pe a lot of grannies are using the internet, especially when they find out they can talk to their friends on Facebook inside the world. Mm. Like, you know... Once they, re once they realize what it can do for them, suddenly they can learn a new skill. True. 
But they are saying that like a lot of the like shopping retail stuff, people, like older people are starting to consider shopping online, whereas before they didn't. They would have just gone to the high street. Yeah, but they just make it unpleasant now. So I can understand people. I mean, I'm not going like because then I'd have to publicly, I'd have to like have a digital record of what I buy. Okay. So, but you still use Amazon. Yeah, selectively. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so I've I've put the uh, live share on the go. If I, if money was no object, I would start a mixtape business. <laughs> it might be a good job. What would you though. call it? Maybe mix with M I K K S tapes, mixtapes. Funny. <laughs> He's thought about this before. Mix tapes. <laughs> I would make mixtapes for people. What, you mean the people who have 20-year-old vehicles and who are stubbornly um, refusing to change? Yeah, I guess you could put them on USBs too, because USBs are pretty cheap these days. They are but very like, cheap. I would make... But people just make mixtapes on Spotify now. This is the new... Mm. This is not as fun. I know. It has to no, be but you, you, Okay, okay. You're only saying that because of, because of your age. Like, your, your, <laughs> your, your, chi your children... Are going to come along and reminisce about about listening on Spotify. Let's make a Spotify oh, playlist. Fun. Well, that'd be fun, like the old days. <laughs> uh, what do you What do you think will be the next the next thing? Well, I, I don't. I mean, I, I think streaming is probably the end because it's everything on tap instantly. So I don't think there's going to be like a meaningful change to that. Um, really, I just like the idea that there would be something new, and you'd like your children will look at you as as old fashioned. What if you can just plug it into your brain? Well, yeah, well, we were saying that before you arrived, like when YouTube beamed straight into your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, and Mosquito said that the exact same moment, directly broadcast into your brain through a chip behind the ear of your, behind oh. an ear from your phone. But ah, no, 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 why would you even need the phone then? It beamed straight to your brain. Yeah, sounds like um, Elon Musk. Because you need a controller. Well, who knows? Who knows? It could be built into your brain at birth. Well, then you're not in control. Well, that's that, yeah, exactly. You need a controller. I don't just want to be shown random government approved. No, no, you, no you, can just, you can just think things. Oh, I th just if you think you like it, they'll give you more of that stuff. What if, you oh, never know? what if you're like autistic and you don't know if you like things or not? Well, we'll have, we'll have to be some clever algorithms. I don't know if we can figure this out. Brains are too complex. People are too neurodiverse. Well, I mean, I mean, it's interesting to say that, but a hundred years ago, the the idea of a heart transplant would be complete science fiction. Now they're relatively routine operations with really good survival rates. Yeah, but people's anatomy is relatively standard. Like they. Okay. Well, have I mean, the people, yeah, and people, people have brain surgery and things. I just think that you, who knows where it will go given enough time. We'll, we'll all be brains in jars. Probably. I want to smell stuff still. I think yeah, that's important. They'll just, they'll just beam this, the, the, the sensation of things smelling directly into your head. Yeah, like you won't know any different. Yeah, exactly. You'll think that you're human but actually you are just a brain in a jar in, in, and, and maybe, maybe you currently are anyway and you just don't realize no also that yeah this is the whole well, they point. make two humans if you're a brain in a jar <laughs> do they just like give you simulation children or what, what do you do yeah yeah <laughs> but they don't they won't have a brain in a jar so how does that how do they get controlled well who knows that i don't know <laughs> Because of <laughs> knowledge, you can't take two brains from a jar and create a new brain in a jar. Well, he knows what the is. Maybe you could. Just, what if they, what if they just have another? There's another brain in a jar, and then they just 
program your brain to think that that brain is from you and actually or your, or your brain is the computer or, or your brain is the computer and they just make another computer and then the com another computer can be the result of your two you and your partner's computed brains they just randomly i don't know <laughs> then is it a separate entity or just the same entity split well, it's the internet we're all interconnected slice <laughs> i can never remember the two <laughs> Spl splices removal of, of, of an array of them. Yeah, so that you get like less. And then slice is like copy, but the same one stays the same. Like, I don't know. I can never keep them. I mean, is it going to be written in JavaScript? That's the question. <laughs> uh, no. JavaScript is the future. <laughs> is it the JavaScript future? Yeah, fortunately, yeah. <laughs> We would go crazy. I definitely go crazy. I'm near the edge most days. Near the edge. <laughs> well, that's why you need the computer to correct you. It might be okay if the computer corrects me. If it does a good job. Um, for some reason, I've lost the board that I was added to. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got, got the it. Trello board. I found it. It wasn't appearing in the list, and then the I pressed refresh, and it's now appeared. Oh, I forgot about the Trello board. Oh I yeah, forget. I haven't. Trello I've board. not forgotten. <laughs> Is it haunt? It's gonna haunt. It's gonna haunt you. Um, <laughs> so, I think we should start with easiest bug first. That's my, that's my, uh... so I'm looking on the list. Okay. Check what happens when services are in different times. Okay. I, I've, I've looked into this one and we'll come back to it because it's complicated. Um, oh, no. Well, it's not complicated. We haven't even taken account for it. Um, no. but I'll... Okay. So login, randomly showing wrong username credentials, even if correct. Okay. Let's leave that one. Add a new service user, odd left and right padding in name field. Didn't you fix that one? Did we? Yeah, we did, didn't we? I thought Android is out at the last minute. Oh. Oh. I see. Is yeah. it because I, my computer crashed at the end of Thursday's lesson, maybe? Oh, yes, yeah. That was done super last minute. But okay, yes, cool. I can that take that it. one off. Okay. Cool. Um, Okay, add new service user, update challenge hour, default times. Okay, let's do that one first. That's easy. So we want the default to be, if, if nothing's been, if it's adding a user, we want it to default to eight. Rather than eight to eight, rather than zero to zero. I think we just have to. I think we just give it a value. Give the input box a value in it. Does it? Hang on a minute. I'm lost. I'm not sure where this is. Um, I'm assuming it's in users add service user. Yeah. Because we had those reusable components we made for the drop downs. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking on line 179 of add service user. So we obviously we're going to have to send in an additional property, which is the default. And then I assume in time selector. Okay. It's got a default value, which is the this dot props dot challenge window hours. So we need to send another property called challenge window hours which contains eight to six. That might just work. Just make sure you replicate the exact syntax because it's, it's one of those ones that it's, it's, snake, it's snake case. Wait, no, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, one set 183 of add service user. 
Yeah. Okay, so we need to send in the, a default value into time selector, otherwise it just defaults to zero. Okay, but but the name of the property, uh, no. So the property it expects is the, it's the opposite way around. So it's challenge window underscore hours equals, and then we're just going to send in a string, which is going to be eight. But it's not the same in time selector, is it? In, in, ti in time selector, the prop is called this is called challenge window hours. So we've got to send in a challenge window hours into time selector. Is it hour or hours? It's, it's hours with an S. Oh. Okay, and what do, we, what do we want challenge window hours to be? Eight. So just, just put eight in there as a string. Um, and then we need to do the, the same for the second selection, which is going to be 20, I think. Are we going to do 8 a.m. to 8 p.m.? Is that, is that appropriate time for Granny to be awake? Yeah. Yeah. She, gr grannies are allowed. Grannies are allowed. To, uh, they're allowed 12 hours. <laughs> and that's it. That's yeah. all they're given. Yeah. Will it be sociable hours anyway? Like where you would be like between those hours, it's definitely okay to phone someone. Like, okay, that works. Amazing. Wasn't that easy? Yay. Fortunately. Okay. <laughs> Do your thinking. Yes. Uh, <laughs> done. Okay, so. Okay, add new solutions at hover over max no of attempts. Oh, we were going to change the text, weren't we? Because we thought it was a little bit clumsily written. Oh, and there was something yeah. where some of them were like 60 minutes and some of them were not. We fixed that, we fixed that one. Oh, okay. Okay, so what was right. it? Charlie, hover over max no of attempts. Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, how many attempts should the user be given before you are notified? It's how, it's how many chances can they try the puzzle? Or how many wrong answers can they give? Minus one. How many attempts should the user be given before you are notified? Um, yeah, how many how many chances? Yeah. How, how many strikes? <laughs> yeah, how many strikes? How <laughs> many strikes out? Should the services have? Yeah, how many? Yeah, how many chances should the service user have before you are notified? Okay, that that actually that sounds okay. Yeah. It's yeah. a little more clear about okay. what to do. Okay, cool, right. Save that and let's tick it off the list. Yes. Don't you love a list, Russell? <laughs> I have lists in my brain. Yeah, I hate lists. I, I don't get satisfaction from ticking them off. Oh. I, get, I get annoyed by having to use Trello. <laughs> do, do, can I just say something about all productivity tools? While you're using them, you're not being productive. But they help you not forget things. Yeah, you need to just work on your memory. <laughs> they also help product managers watch what you're doing. Instead of just being like, I wrote some bits and some bytes and some booby boobs. I'll, I'll, I'll look at the git I'll look at the git the git commits to see how much work you've done. That's, that's too what, that's advanced what, for that's some what product matters. managers. Uh, okay, tick that one off then. Is that one? Have you ticked it off? Yeah, yeah, that one's been ticked. Okay, users attempts to successfully complete each challenge. Where does sixty come from? Uh, I think I think we fixed that, but okay, challenge interval. 
Because, because it, was, it was just the options in the drop down were muddled up when, between adding and editing. So I think that one's done. Okay, so we did fix, we did fix that one. Oh, we're just, lovely. Oh, there's, oh, okay. Warning, fail prop type. You provided a checked prop to a form field without an on-change handler. Okay, that's a new one, but that comes under the look at all red errors in the console. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do all red errors in the console because I can see one in the cons console. Fail prop type, you provided a checked prop to a form field without an on-change handler. Okay, which would mean that it can't be changed because there's no way to handle the change. It's, it's controlled, but there's nothing to, to update it, which is odd because the checkboxes all work, unless there's another checkbox. Oh. Maybe there's another checkbox there that we don't realize. Okay, add service user line 117. Oh, because we're listening on the on the we're listening on the on the parent div. Okay, so that is an error with the errors because we are listening. We're just listening once to everything rather than listening individually. So um, we could either just put the listener onto each thing, or we should, or we could just suppress the message. I I, I think our code's better because we're not. We're not putting a listener on every single thing individually. Okay. Okay. Information Rocket has arrived and he says the last five percent is a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, don't worry. And the five percent of the five percent of this list is the one that's gonna cost us the whole evening. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what I'm sure of. Okay, let's let's leave that one. Okay, the red error is resolved. That was it. That was all we had. Yeah, but it's okay. not. It's it, it's a misleading error. Okay. Okay. So, um, users, editing isn't working. Okay. So this one, I think we've just something's got. This was working definitely, but I think maybe we've changed something. Now it's broken. So when you edit a user, it isn't saving your changes. So mm. I think the first thing is to do is to console log in the back end what the root receives to let's see whether it's a front end issue or a back end issue. And then from there, we'll de 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 dive more deeply. Who sh who's going to do it? And I'll follow them. Um, follow them. Wait. Mm. Kim, can you send me the... Mm board thing the trello board yeah yeah yes i, I would love to link. gaze upon its beauty <laughs> i i thought i shared the link with everyone you may have yeah. but i i know yeah you are all members i can see all your um yeah images which is this trello oh <laughs> you log in maybe well, at least it's the same board Okay, so now we're doing That's the my edit. link. Okay, oh. so ed edit does edit doesn't work. So. so what you want to do first, okay, so this is the issue, right? You pre when you save when you when you edit something you press save, it isn't not, it isn't updating the updating the database. The first question is, is it in the front end or is it in the back end? So if we console log request.body in the back end. We will see if the back end ever gets what it expects. If it does, then we've got a back end issue. If it doesn't, we've got a front end one. So we need to kind of just hunt it down in a methodical way. The good bit is, though, about the 5% is that the people on YouTube actually do realize we're actually towards the end. <laughs> right. That's true. It is a better, because it's because we're doing tiny chunks if they only watch like a smidgen. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna call for login in the back end, right? I'm in the back end. Okay, cool. 
I, I can see where you are, that looks right. Yeah. Um. It took me until today to return to the same weight I was at one week ago. <laughs> same weight. Yeah, well, it, took a, it, took, it, took, it, took, it took a week of being healthy to get back down to the same weight. <laughs> we should do it again. <laughs> but then after after then feast, I have to um, fast for five days, six days. Thank <laughs> hey God. Was Noodle unhappy that you didn't share the Ferrero Rocher? Uh, I'll, I'll get. I've got a second box for her. So <laughs> there was plenty. <laughs> Um, she knows I don't share my chocolate though. I'll buy you your own, but I'm not sharing mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how, how can I categorise Noodle? She's one of those people that you go to restaurants, right? You say, do you want chips? And she says, no. What she really means is she wants to eat some of mine. <laughs> like, just have your own chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do that too. If you don't want a whole one. Yeah, just like the odd chip. Yeah. Oh, I, I can see you all agree there. Yeah. <laughs> you're the Yeah, I feel like you're not going to win this weird one. one. You're the weird one. Well, maybe. I'll get, I'll get two chips and I'll share my second chips with you. It makes you feel better. Yeah. That's the best solution. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we... I don't remember. You don't remember mm -hmm. what? I don't know. This is England. Oh. Have you, uh, do, you, do you like that, Andrea? The movie. There's there's a there's a movie there's a movie and, and a series. I haven't watched the series. Yeah, it's very it's very depressing. The series is even more depressing than the film. Really? Yeah. Well, the, the film is pretty bleak, really. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so fire. So somebody edit a user and let's see what's spat out on the console. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, what are the login details again? Uh, you say, okay, what I'm going to do, because to make your life yeah. easy, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uncomment the credentials. Okay. Okay, so you just have to hit login and it will work. Is that oh, something? No, that is... So say again, Drea. There's a beeping sometimes. I can hear the beeping. Oh, not me. Maybe I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Could be. I can hear the beeping too. So Andrea's not going crazy. What, what, what sort of beeping? Like a fire alarm. Oh, so it is a fire alarm. It's kind of like a fire alarm. I don't know, like an odd something's battery is running out mm. Mm. no i still can't log in uh, okay um i something mm. i logged in and i attempted to edit edit and it didn't and nothing happens okay, we saw nothing on the console I so cannot that, really see the console properly. I okay, I'm, I'm just I'm just going to try one. Okay, no, it didn't it didn't save. Okay, so the back end is not receiving data, so we must have a problem in the front end. I mean, hey, there might still be one in the back, but there's definitely one yeah. in the front. <laughs> okay, so let so edit service users. So you know when we make the um when we make the Axios request. Let's go find the Axios request. Or oh, my hunch is it's around line seventy four. Because that's what we changed since last time. You know, we put that root turn in. Uh, okay, so why don't you um, console log the oh. response on line 100? So let's see what happens because you might see on the console, oh, cannot connect to this web address or something. This is, uh, that's bad, Andrea, because we won't know which one it is. I deleted the other one. Oh, okay, that's all right then. Just so it doesn't confuse us, okay. Right, try that then. And also, this one will be in the browser. Right. That's that's a that's a good point. Um. Okay. Okay, I see nothing in the console. Um, let me. 
Okay, I think it did change it now. Uh, object. This is England. I can where, see. Where, where, are you see, where are you seeing this? In the browser. In the, let me. You mean in the you mean in, in the console in the browser? I'll share my screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Mine did. What did you What did you change? I just changed the um, the name. But oh, no, sorry. Okay, it's my cons. Mine hadn't updated. I've refreshed. It works now. Yeah. Okay. So what does the object say? The object in data says status code one. Okay. So the back end did respond then. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But okay. Before. Put, put the console log back into the back end then. And let's see what's going on because that's weird. Maybe we hadn't saved it or something strange. But like now I. I changed it and the change appears. So, okay. Uh, let me okay. change. Yeah, I'm going to check. Okay, I'm going to change one of mine as well. Okay, I've got one called AAA. I'll go into the database and see if the data is changed in the database as well. Oh, yeah. Good point. Who's Benika Russell? <laughs> That's the word for granny in Romanian. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice word. Bunica. Best shoes are ever, does everything. Wasn't saved this one. Okay, mine's updated. And it's updated the puzzles as well. Uh, yeah. Maybe it worked a little longer, we just didn't realise because we were testing it strangely. But, but now I edited this user and it doesn't appear <laughs> i think it's just moody i don't know um sorry sit right do that okay i'm watching your screen right hit save see okay i got a second right press refresh on the browser yeah okay no no it is right so what happens is when we do a save we need to re-pull the latest data because our data is out of sync with what's on the server. So, mm. you know, when on line 188 of, uh, sorry, um, in edit service user on line 102. Yeah. And we, and we have this toggle, toggle edit user dispatch. We also need to do is we need to reorder the user's data to get the, like, because at the moment what we gain is out of sync. So only if we only if an update occurred do we want to reload all the data from the server. Um, so I'm I. The question is what does what, where does that happen? Um. I'm going to start. That's it. So app. Oh no, that's that's the wrong one. That's the back end. We want the front. So, app pulls in admin app. Admin app pulls in dashboard. Hang on, it's not. Pulls in admin app user. Okay, so you must be somewhere in users or deeper. Okay, so look on line 21 of users. See here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is where we request the data that gets put in the store. Is that right? Do we put do we put it in the store or do we set it? Are oh, we set it locally? Don't we? Yeah. Okay, we've got a bit of a tricky structural issue now because we've got this component called get user data, and we need to re-trigger that function whenever an ed an edit occurs. So we need to pass get service user data as a callback down to edit user so when a user's edited we can reload the list of users from the server so it's all in sync 
Oh my god. <laughs> there are there are there are other approaches to this. We could have have had that function in some other place and we could have stored the data in the store and then just told it to update the store, but I don't think we should be that we don't think we should start messing with that at this stage. <laughs> not unless we go down not unless we go back into full blown lockdown. <laughs> And like, please, Russell, not, I, no, please. <laughs> and in, in, in which case, you may have all the time in the world and you'll be desperate to fill it. Oh yeah. Okay, so does everybody get then? So, so in users, we have this function called get user data that gets the data. When we edit a user, we, t we update the server, but our local copy is out of sync. So, we need to reorder the data again once we've edited one. So we need to pass this get user data yeah, as, a all, as a prop all the way down to edit user. So we and then in edit user, when an edit's confirmed, we need to push back up. And that's <laughs> it must be a child of users. My guess is it's it's users. I heard child abuses for half a second. <laughs> I heard that as well. <laughs> It's what was, sorry. You said child of users, and Ashley and I thought you said child abusers. <laughs> child of users. Oh, there we go. Demonetized again. <laughs> um, okay, so I think firstly, it gets passed down to service user. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've already done ah, it. It's already sorry. there. Yeah. It's already there online. Hang on. Did, we, did you just do that, Andrea? No. <laughs> oh, maybe we already did this and we accidentally took the line of code out. Okay. Yeah. So have a look um, in service user. Okay. Does service user pass it down into edit? Okay. It's not being passed into edit. So it's available in service user, but not. Cool. This might not have been that harder a bug. Give it a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so get user data, this dot props dot get user data. Okay, so in edit service user, you just need to call that function after line 101. And then it works. No, I'm, I'm, confidence is high. <laughs> <laughs> See. Right, have a go at that then. Oh, works. Does it? Hey. Yay, yeah. So I think that's one of those things. Oh, yeah. which We'd, we'd, we'd started building it because we were doing some of the work, but then we obviously must not have finished it off. Okay, look, that was efficient, Kim. I know. <laughs> Literally, I know. Andrea hadn't finished a, a word and it was moved. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the one that I'm worried about. Login randomly showing wrong username credentials, even if correct. Oh, the, the toasts. So some weird things are happening, right? When you when we click log out, it, sa it says your changes have been saved. Why is it saying that? It, it's like the messages are all out of sync. Um, no, it's because you said last time it's because of, of where we're sending the toast and the length of time the toast is supposed to appear for. Yeah, I think that's part of it. Um, just OK, so I click login. It says wrong email, email and password. Oh, the back end's crashed. That's why. <laughs> that way I'll pull it. Uh, OK, so I'm just going to refresh the app. So I click login and it says wrong email and password. Oh, dear. Hang on a minute. Use, has users not been saved? Or were you changing it, Andrea? Mm -hmm. uh, did I? Okay, I can't. I can't get in now. Oh she. With SSD at. No one's changed my password. No. <laughs> okay. Let's go have a look at login. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. 
Right, <laughs> have have a look in login on lines 15 to 18. I uncommented email and password, but I left the blank ones in there. Oh. So it was it was replacing them. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I hit login, it logs me in. I hit log out. Okay, it didn't give it didn't give the error message. Okay, I'm I'm hoping it wasn't really a bug. Okay, so I log in again. It's all fine. I log out, no message. Right, I'm gonna put in the wrong credentials. Hit login, I get the message. So now I'm gonna put in the correct correct credentials. Okay, then I put in the correct credentials and it came up with the message wrong email and password combination. So if you put in the wrong, so if it's like it's remembering the last message. Um, so I think we should start hunting it down in app. Okay, and you know this toast here? <coughs> okay, okay, I know the problem, fortunately. <laughs> so if you look on line 16 to 25, it's inside the render method. So that means that each time the render method is run, it fires the last toast that it was told to fire. The render method runs every time anything in the state changes that we subscribe to. So on line 52 to 54, if the toast changes, the admin state changes, all these logged in changes, it triggers rerunning of the toast. Okay. Does, that, does that make sense? So any time those props change, it re-renders the component that reruns the toast. So, 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 yeah. So remember in React that any time a component gets new props, it calls the render method and it re-renders the component to check if anything's changed. But we're actually running our toast inside the render method. So any time toast admin or is logged in changes, it f it reruns okay. the toast. Okay, so I've got a really neat little hack for this. This is really, I only know this because I actually implemented toast last week and I had the same problem. Right, um, so the toast is this.props.toast.text. So what, do you remember one of the rules about toast, about props, what, what can't you do with a prop? Mutate it. Okay, okay, you can't mutate a, mutate a prop, I agree. Right, so after, after the toast on line 24, Right, this dot props dot toast dot text equals an empty oh. string. You can there's a like old method in React for um, set props, but I don't think. Okay, so that, so so that so that fixes it, right? So I'm just I'm just going to log out. Really? I'm going to lo log in. Yes. Right, I'm going to log out. Okay, that fixes it. Okay. But, so, but you you can't mutate it. You're right. You can't mutate. You can't mutate the props. Okay. So here's the bit. You need a callback. No. We, we, no, because look, we just set it directly to an empty string. So so we trigger the toast, and then we set the toast text back to empty string. So it's so next time it's got nothing to display. Okay. So the so the point is you can't mutate the you can't mutate props, but we're not mutating props. We're mutating a property of an immutable object. So the prop is toast. The prop is not text. Text is a think of the text as a child of the toast, which itself is not a prop. Mm -hmm. Is this a weird JavaScript thing? <laughs> no, no. Well, not 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 really. Not really. Okay. So do you remember on arrays when if we like make one array equal another, we just get a new reference to the original array. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This same thing here. So text is a property of toast. So if you try and change toast, it will fail. If you try and make toast be null, it will fail. But we're talking about a property of toast, which is not a prop, because it's stored somewhere else from the store. Well, yeah, because you can mess around with like props. If you have props that are numbers, you can add and subtract and do other weird stuff, but you can't set it back equal to the thing. You have to create a new variable. Yeah, and, and so um, but this applies to everything. So you can have an array in the store, which is immutable. It gives it you a prop that's immutable, and you can sort the array. 
because actually you're sorting the order of the things inside the prop. You're not sorting the prop itself. The prop is just the first thing. It's not the things that the prop points towards. Mm -hmm. I can see you're unhappy, Ashley. I like immutable to mean unmutable. I like well, no to mean no. no the, 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 <laughs> like... the, pro the problem is, okay, so you know, you, know, you know when you use the spread operator, we make a copy of something. But if, if, if one of the properties is an array that has its own properties, then it doesn't copy the whole array, it just copies like the top, the top outer layer. Otherwise, every time you change something, you'd have, to, you'd have to make a copy of everything. You don't want to do that. You just make a copy of the bit that you need to make a copy of. Mm. So in any, any event, so there it looks like that's wrong, but actually you're not ever changing a prop. You're just using that to access the actual thing you want to change. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's beautiful. Get rid of that one then. Look at that, right? Look at this. This, this is some, we, we, we barely know in. I was one minute late. <laughs> this, this isn't even. Um... So go on, Kim. I'm, I'll be, I'll, I'm, I'm waiting for satisfaction of it moving. Wait a minute. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. But now for the for the big one though, or the one the one that we well, haven't factored in. Yeah, this is this isn't a bug exactly this is just the system does not support dates that are time zones that are outside the uk so um, and it wasn't musky it was tiny b from last week was making a point that it doesn't matter because it's unix time okay but it but it does matter it does matter so what we're doing at all times we're using unix time so unix time is irrelevant of time zones because it's an actual point in time if, 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 if it's 1666777, it's that time everywhere in the world. If, we, if you convert it to a local timestamp and you're in Las Vegas, okay, it's eight, you're going to display a time eight hours before GMT, but it's still the same point in time. Mm -hmm. Everybody get that bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you log into the app and you go to users and you click add user and you go to the challenge window, Okay, we ask them, not Unix time, we ask them just for a, the hours and minutes through the day. Those times are not in Unix. Those times are actually points relative to their 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So, so when somebody puts 8 a.m. in there, we treat it as 8 a.m. GMT, Unix time. But then, but it's not 8 a.m. GMT, Unix time to them. To them, it's 8 a.m. time in Las Vegas or Russia. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, that doesn't work. That always assumes that it's always on UK time. Mm -mm -mm. So, mm -mm. anyone got any ideas on how we might solve that? WCU time. Well, we could well we could ask the user. The dumbest way would be to say, "Okay, you need to specify the time in GMT, the challenge window in GMT, and then it's all fine." But it, but it's not very user friendly. Or we could do two local time. Isn't that to local time stream? That's a thing. No, because what, what, what we're doing is we are treating those drop downs as integers. So you're just choosing 8, 10, 12, 14, 20. Yeah. It's not really time. Mm. So the, the, there, is a, there is only one real solution. Don't we calculate the Unix time based on those integers? No, we don't. We store those times in the database so the database later on can work out what the challenge window is. So you need to figure out what their time zone is. Can we grab that from their... Um... I'm hoping we can. What we want to do, we need to find out what their time zone is. And also... We then need to post that time zone data to our server when the user gets added so we can then always offset by the time zone okay right so while you ha while you have a google of that i'm going for a silent toilet <laughs> that's very thoughtful we need we need something like getting the time zone from the from the date object that's what i think we need to do well let's google <laughs>
get time zone offset. <laughs> That's a method in JavaScript, but if you use the date object, we'll get the time zone offset. This is too easy. <laughs> yeah, it I mean, smells like... suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it does. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could like do UTC, but I don't know. Like that seems more complicated. I kind of like the offset method. It seems. Was was the UTC one? Yeah. What's UTC? On the left there, if you go to that Mozilla page, then yeah. there's like below it, it's like get UTC date, get UTC date, get UTC for you. Mm -hmm. UTC so, is universal time. Okay. That okay. is GMT. There's a whole thing against the British where they're trying to not use GMT, but it really is. Okay. So. I don't know. Wait, but it has the offset in there, in the UTC. Yeah, it can state the offset, but it's, it's saying it's relative to a put to like to what is GMT. Oh, okay. Um, but then, if you do like to local something, will it? To ISO string, maybe. Okay. Okay. This is the this is the you know the pedantic difference. Okay. Greenwich Mean Time is often interchanged or confused with Coordinated Universal Time. GMT is a time zone. UTC mm -hmm. is a time standard. But GMT happens to be zero. That's the point. Britain, Britain is in the... That's the point of Greenwich Mean Time. It is, it is the, the, the point where other time zones are measured from. So they happen to be the same. Time zone is always zero UTC. That's white supremacist. We should get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we can't. You can't even have Greenwich Mean Time. Well, no, but we Britain invented time, or rather, they drew a line to say this is where time starts. Yeah, we uh, we've argued on the point about who invented time, and I don't think it was the people of Britain. Yeah, but we gave I mean, it a name. It's because it was a big empire. <laughs> You made maps, is what you did, and then you drew the lines for the like meridians, and we're like, here's where the sun comes up, and right here, and the Arby dragons. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and then you did some pillaging, and what well, we want to talk about pillaging, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It said anyway, right? This this is a, this is a strange irony, right? If, if, if Britain, so sorry, sorry, if, the, if the Americans hadn't have won the Civil War, mm. America would still be part of, of the British Empire and you would have it, find it very easy to come to Britain. Yep. But alas, uh, <laughs> we got rid of slavery. <laughs> I think it's probably a good thing. No, you don't mean the Civil War. You mean the um, War of Independence, Revolutionary War. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Absolutely. saying there are there are benefits of staying under Britain's umbrella. Some we wanted an MP, and you weren't having any of that. You can you can think of that next time you're filling out one of those applications at the Home Office. <laughs> next time I write my MP, like how's it feel? <laughs> is it, this is what Independence gave me. <laughs> Hello, MP. Listen to me, or I'll throw my tea in the river way. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, irrespective of our political views on time, <laughs> we, 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 need, we need to know, we need to know for the user what they are relative to GMT slash UTC. I think two string makes it with the time zone. Yeah, we want the offset. We want the offset of their current yeah. relative position. I think two string does this. Okay. Or at least the docs make me think that this happens when you two string something. Yeah, you know, when when you two string the date object, you get 
the time zone. So you get you get the offset relative to GMT. Yeah. So we need, to, we, need to, we need to extract that from the string. Well, you can just have the offset. You can get the date. I sent the link. You can do oh, okay. get time zone offset. But okay, can we can we console log that on the add route? Sorry, on the back end, on the front end, when add is clicked, so actually we can get it to see what it looks like. But why wouldn't we just localize it and like put to string and then whatever put, the string? Sorry, put what? To, no, we need to know the offset for the back end to do its calculations. Oh, because it's the back end. Yeah, the, the, the front end. The front end. It just says eight a.m. to two eight p.m. It doesn't. It's a time zone okay. irrelevant. That's the problem. It doesn't know what time zone you in or care. Yeah, we need to send. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Okay, the alternative, and this, this, okay, this is my other one, which is which is kind of cool, right? You know the drop down box. We could offset the values to the to the to the labels, so um, that actually when they selected eight, they were actually selecting like four or something. I like it. Oh. It's just crazy enough to work. It is just crazy enough to work, <laughs> and actually, <laughs> actually, do you know what I like about that? It actually solves a lot of problems because. In our database, we, don't, have we don't have to make any changes to that. Oh, I think we should do that. <laughs> that, that, that. That's one of those things where, like, you've only got like an hour to fix something and you need to find a neat way. So we need to make it so when it says 8 p.m., it, it, it offsets it by the time zone underneath so that we store the correct integer in the back end. Now, one thing, this is my, this is my idea. I mean, I've not worked this out yet. We have an array of all 24 hours, and then we use the time zone to take the first array entry and move it to the end. So we, so we shift the, so we've got an array which is actually is the hours in the order that we need them in the drop down. No. No, okay, okay, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> A hard pass from us. <laughs> What? Because you, you, you think you think you've got a better solution, or you think it's too complicated? No, I think I have a better. Uh, uh, well, I don't know about better. You're okay. going to poke holes in it, but uh, no. I think if we take the last one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we don't even need the last six, but we could count six back, and we could get the plus or the minus, and then the first two things there. Unless we've got some bizarro time zones that have okay. like halves, I think there might be some that are exceptions that have halves. Here's here's just one premise, right? You might be right. Okay, if you look in Time Selector on line seventeen to forty, this is this is the bit of code you've got to ultimately change. So you, so you're going to have to be able to change like line seventeen from zero to three if it's if it's GMT plus three. Yeah, you get the well. The plus is the easy one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying that's the bit. If you can make a form which tells them eight pm, but really gives us the GMT version, we're on to winner. Well, I think all we have to do is maths based on the operator there, and then the digits for the offset for the value, because we have the value. Can't we just take value? Use so you the say you, you want you want to make the value be the value plus or minus the offsets. Yeah, but I, okay. I'm thinking when we go around, if we go around the other side in weird, weird fringe cases, it could be weird. I'm not sure if we could get what? three you... minus zero is going to be twenty-two. Yeah, well, exactly. That's that. That was, I I know. That's why I was suggesting an array that we reordered the array elements because because it's not that that zero minus four is minus four. Zero minus four is twenty is. is 20. Mm. Have, have a go your way. I'm interested no. to see. Cause, no. Cause I've, I've discovered this weird issue with going around the, off the edge. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's imagine, <laughs> let's, let's imagine we have, okay, um, in the render method, okay, so on line nine, can you just, give, just define a new array? And in the array, I want you to put 0 to 23 as streams. Be nice I'm pretty sure time. there's some time zones in like India that's half an hour off too, which would make me cry. So I'm uh, not. I, I I think that we we can't deal with that. 
that that's getting very very specific if we start doing things and not not all india has the use of the uses the same same time zone system anyway well like they have their own regional versions we can't just say we're not dealing with india <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean <laughs> any any country decides to have odd and inconsistent time zones. There's a whole nerdy section of the internet about unusual time zones. But, I mean, most software doesn't accommodate that sort of stuff, so they tend to expect to deal with it in a way where they understand it's rounded to the nearest hour. Yeah. Okay, they need to be strings. Um, they? Do, they, do they have to be strings? Well, okay, you, they don't have to be strings, but when you insert them into the drop down, they need to be strings. But you don't have to put them inside the quotes. Strings? Are we doing math or not? No, we, okay. No, no, okay, <laughs> don't do them as strings, okay? Right, just for now. Okay. So. You should, you, you, you're practicing your counting here, Ashley. You're, uh, you're on my, you're in the way. Your face is in the way on my, my one tiny screen. Okay. Oh, we're, we're ending at 23. We agreed on that one. Okay. Yeah, so really now, nice. so now I want you to make each one of lines 21 to 44 use an array, use an array element. Okay. Okay, but in but, and then let's check it still works as is. Uh, it, because I'm not sure if you put a number into a value, it's got it's going to re it's going to be happy. Okay, right. That yeah. makes sense. So just copy after what Ashley's done. Um, yeah. Okay. Don't 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 just string it. Let's just see if it works first. Otherwise, we're writing unnecessary code. Okay. Okay. So then, th then what we're going to have, we can have an array which represents all our different times that could be selected. And then I'll show you the clever bit that I'm hoping is clever. <laughs> are we going to make the array round? Oh, oh, well, how do you mean round? You mean circular? Oh. That, that's what I want to do, yeah. yeah. I want to make the array so actually we can just rotate all the values in it. I'm very interested. This is a puzzle that I like. This is this this, this isn't like if if you were if I was working for Apple, we would not be doing this. Hacking the front end, like you would you would have a whole thing where you'd you know have a, a time zone profile for customer and you'd. But we're not Apple, we're a startup. We're not even a startup because we, no. no we have no funding. We've we had, don't get paid. Yeah, the, the, the only Are you getting paid? The only, the only funding came from Andrea buying me a pizza. I mean, I would accept payment in pizza if that was the deal of the contract. We pay you, except it's in pizza. I'd be like, okay. Okay, right, so can you console log the array on line 11? Yeah, do you want just, the... I want it to co just console log a time time array. Want it to string? Or you no, no, call... just as is. Oh, look at that, prettier, beautiful. Okay, so what triggers this? Is it when we're going to, is it when we're going to add? We're going to use as add and in the console. Okay, I see. Okay, so now... Let's just check that that actually works. So I'm going to make a user be from 11 to 22. So I just want to, before we make any changes, I want to make sure that what we've done so far actually works. Okay, press save. I'm going to look in the database, make sure it's appeared. Okay, oh, I'm going to uh, challenge, no, Ch 
okay, it says challenge start zero, challenge end zero. So I think they have to be strings. Okay. Um, do you want them strings in the array? Are we going to do math or do you want me to two string it in the value? I think they should be strings in the array because we're not doing anything to them. Okay. I'm trusting your direction on this. Uh, because it, it's silly to do something as a number and then to string every array element. Why not just store them as strings? It seems well, infinitely more logical. Because depending on if you're going to do stuff or not. No, we're not. What we're going to do, we're going to imagine the array isn't a, isn't isn't doesn't have isn't horizontal it's circular and we just want to rotate all the values in it i think i know where you're going with this um, but i'm uh, a bit nervous you know <laughs> what you, you can do I like you can do negative indexes in arrays and it'll go from the right so i think there's got there must be something clever we can do there is so if you do minus two you could do negative indexes from the right make that the first index and then go around the other side and start yeah. and then but i'm uh i don't know about this Just the values. I, 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 like, I like the way no one's helping you. <laughs> it's nice out here on my own. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, right, so let's. Oh, the back end's crashed. Sounds typical of our back, back end. It is. It is. <laughs> It's prone, it's prone to crashing. Okay, so let me just make this user. It's something weird to do with the settings. It go, if, it's, if it's inactive for like five minutes, it goes to sleep. But it doesn't do it, oh. it, only, it only does it in testing. It doesn't do it like in production. Okay, uh, this is strange. It's not respecting that either. But I'm sure this was working before. No, no, it's un it's oh, it's undefined. Do we need to do this? Oh, okay. Hang on. Are we in a class? Yes. I think yes. We're in a class. We need this. Yes. I, so, and, and, and uh, the thing is, actually, it may actually have worked without with number. I don't know, but we're beyond that point now. Oh. oh there's a typo on line forty-six. Oh, Valula. Yeah, that won't help either. Not. Oh. Hey. I need to stop following. I'm following somebody. Yeah, I was following someone as well. Okay, right, let's try that then. We haven't actually made any progress. All we've done is, is try to use an array rather than hard coding. Hey. Oh, it did, it did, something went wrong. Okay, time, this dot time array is undefined. Oh, you've defined it inside the render method. It should be defined outside the render method, but then console logged inside the render method. We don't need that then. Yeah. I wondered why you'd written const. Okay, time array is undefined. Oh, um, line 35. This start, yeah. Okay, we're getting there now. Users. Okay, I've done a crazy user. Make sure the user makes sense. I know what you're like putting weird data in the database. No, it's still, it's still, it's still got all zeros. I'm going to, let's have a little look. Hmm. No, no, it says undefined. This dot time array, element zero is undefined. Okay, can we console log element zero? Let's see what it.
Okay. Time array element zero is zero. But shouldn't it should be zero as a, oh, uh, okay. It is. Yeah, sorry, one, it's confusing. One. This is the most logical way to do it. <laughs> okay, so it's one. So why? This is the value. Yeah, but I'm, I won't, if, if, you, if you inspect element on the input box, right, it says undefined. Mm, so why? Because... It's not because it, it, if, if it's if we're sending data and we've got to put it in curlies, right? Just just let me. This will be ironic if this was actually the solution all along. And then we can just go back. Yeah, but. Oh, my God, no, sorry. Oh, my God, there's something else wrong. It's a different bug. What? Okay, it's the, la oh, no. the, the label is undefined. The values are correct. The values are working just fine. Yeah, we don't have any labels. Okay, but that's the problem because it's, well, if you look, it says, it says select ID equals undefined underscore hour. But that's not right. This dot prop start ID. Right, so where's this dot prop start ID coming from? This should be coming from either add or edit. And then okay. you select it. But what, what I don't get is what we've changed hasn't actually changed anything else, but this was working a minute ago. Oh. Because that because that ID is what Does the minutes work? Because the minutes we didn't change. And it's got the same this dot prop dot ID. No, it's the same. It's the same issue. Okay. Okay. But what, what I don't get is, is that the, the ID is what's used to tell the parent to update the state. Yep. So the, so why was this working earlier? Oh, Tiny Beak is here. Hey, Russell, your Redux guide on YouTube has been quite helpful this weekend. You see, you don't, oh. need, to, you, you don't need to watch it because you're Redux experts now. Nice. Mm. Thank, well, thank, <laughs> thank you for that compliment. Oh, did you make a guide? I made a, I made a YouTube video about Redux. Mm -hmm. I, I just explained it in a different cool. way than I think most people explain it because uh, it can be very, very confusing. So I kind of did it backwards rather than forwards. Okay. Um, the way that I would understand it anyway, rather than other people. So, so, so a few people have commented and said they liked it. So give me some money. Aww. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> no, only joking. ID comes from here. Here's the, uh, it's either start or end, and it's a string. Okay, but why is it not arriving then? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this dot props. Because that, that's a separate bug that we must not have noticed. Oh, okay. This is add user. It worked when when Dre was testing it. It was in edit user, so we must have done something in add u, add user differently to edit user. Which one has the problem? Add user. Yeah, edit's okay. Oh, it needs underscores, and they're not right. Their things are weird here. Yeah. So I'm going into if I go into edit user. I know. Then edit users correct. Okay, have you fixed it? I don't know. I did. I what? made some changes. You just you just saved it, so I'm going to assume you fixed it. You didn't <laughs> save it if you hadn't fixed it, would you, Ashley? I made it more close to your line. There could be other. Okay, that looks great. Okay. okay, I'm doing I'm doing eight till two for a service user with the name one 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 one. Hit save. Why do we got this and this hard coded? No, nope. it didn't like that either. Do you know what? We've never tested this because we never, we, it was always zero, 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 zero. So we've actually never considered what happens if it wasn't zero, 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 zero. What's this? Where are you looking? 
in add user what, why do we have things hard coded here that's which which line if i'd use that 183 and 189 we just changed that it's oh okay yeah that's because that, that that sets the default when you add the, when you add, add them okay that's all cool we do we just do this uh yeah, we can yes yeah it's because originally they were properties okay okay so so the issue is is that we fixed the bug in edit service user but we didn't fix it in add well don't we have this with the challenge window hours challenge window minutes uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, so there's that, like a whole other property. Yeah, because the other in edit, it's set from the state. It's set from the existing data. The point is, is that when when somebody goes into add a user and they make a change to the drop down, it isn't storing it in the state. I don't think. Let's take a look at the state. So you know, you know, in change listener on line thirty. Yeah. That's what I think is not updating. Oh. The change listeners are very different. Yeah, dear. Okay, but it's one of those ones which got a mix of camel case and snake case. Okay. Okay, I'm going to console log in the change listener. E dot targ target dot value. Uh, oh, hang on, that's weird. We aren't storing the data like this. What is this? That 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 is the op the selected options, right? We, this isn't how the data is supposed to look. No, add add use add user's got a different structure to edit. It shouldn't. Well, in an ideal world, I agree, but that's another problem, right? I think what, it might what, be the same problem. What I don't get is why does the change listener, why does the change listener work when it doesn't appear? Oh, because it's set in the start of 38, so the ID. Okay. Target.value and E dot. I don't think it's updating the state. I think that's what's happening. It probably is updating the state, but then we're reading these values instead of whatever it's setting them to. No, but that, those are the values that, that the form is using. Because it's a control component, I think. No, okay. could we do like this later on? I think. Okay, just give me a second. I'm just, I'm just. So if I change that to nine, I get nine for start hour. Okay, it's the okay. You know, it's because okay, we're trying to set the state using the value start hour, but in the state it's challenge window start hour. Challenge window dot start hour. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, no, no, like no, 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 it's just, it's challenge window start underscore hour. It's not in an object. Look on line 18. Yeah. That's what I was saying. But, it, but it, it's not the structure. It's the name. The names are wrong. The structure's bad as well. I don't know if I agree on that. Well, no, because we put it in an object even down here on line 63. We've got an object, and then we've like structured it that way. No, 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 no. Because look, we get the properties from this dot state dot challenge window start hour, so we're pulling them out to build up the objects. Yeah, but we can't set them that way with the time selector. We can, we can. Look, we just need to do that. We need to replace. Ooh. Well, it's still going to be this dot state. This dot props, right? No, no, no. It's this dot state. It's this dot state dot start. Right? It should be this dot state dot start minutes, and then we need to just rename them in the state above. So do those four. I don't know. Like, shouldn't we put it in a challenge window object and then make these properties? Because that's what we did in the other one. No, because the in edit user. No, because then we've got all the extra complexity 
in like we have in edit user and we do more changes then which might knock on to other things I, I think we should fix the bug before we like re start refactoring I agree it's, I agree there's a bit of nastiness to the structure but I don't want to change too much right okay so now in the states you need to, you need we just need to get yeah yeah Okay, so then it's going to update the correct bits of the states. Okay, um, so now if I go to users add and I select 9 to 17 and I hit save, oh dear. Oh, the back end's crashed. Ah! No, it doesn't like that. Oh, I've not entered a name. Ah, I've been defeated by my own security. Okay, that worked. Right. Start our start our nine. End our eleven. Okay, but before we go any further, Ashley, I think mm. there might be a bug. What happens if you don't make a change? If you add a service user but you never actually make a change? If you never make a change, React never so, re-renders. No, no, if you don't make a change to the challenge window. Right, just let me check because that we might not have accounted for that scenario. No, okay, it doesn't, okay. So if you make a change in the dropdown, it stores it in the states. But if you mm. don't make a change in the dropdown, it doesn't. The reason is because start error on line 18 isn't being set to the default. So that uh, should be... So it should make it eight. Eight, yeah. Or like this. No, no, it's just eight. And then end hour is 20. Okay, which begs the question then, you know when we push data down into the child, um, hmm. challenge window hours on line 190, that should be coming from the states, which is what we were originally doing. So actually we were... Yeah, this... Yeah, okay, cool. Right. If uh, when this is, if when, yeah, uh, I don't, let's not make a mistake. It's start error, Low, um, singular, please. I'm double checking. Okay, so, but if you want, if you want, when this is working, to refactor it into an object, go for it. Nope. You don't. <laughs> while this, you try telling your boss that you took something that worked. You change the structure of the data and it still works like before. Can you please pay me? <laughs> oh. I know. Wait, I got lost. Is that done? I don't know, line 190. Just double checking the state. Yeah. In any case, you must notice we haven't actually even started fixing the time zone bug. We're fixing the other bugs that we didn't even realise existed. We got time. We got time. No pressure. Okay, users. Confidence is pretty high. That works. Yay, it works. Okay, perfect. Now we can mosey on back to where were we? Where was that code that was um, set in the time zone? Mm, I'm not sure. I completely forgot where we are now. Oh, man. Oh, time selector. Okay, so time selector works, right. So, we're back where we were an hour ago, or half an hour ago. The challenge is now is array element zero, which is midnight. Do we agree on that, Ashley? <laughs> yes. Right. If, you're in Sp if you're in Spain, which is GMT plus one, then zero needs to be one, and one needs to be two, and two needs to be three. But 23 needs to be zero because it's the following day. Does, there, does, anybody, does anybody get that? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if can you console log me after, after time array, console log me the current offsets? Potentially. So you can potentially, <laughs> because if we have the offset, then all we've got to do is is mangle the array 
by the number in the offset. By mangle, I'm hoping you don't mean do mass. We're, we're doing, we're, we're going to be using the array shift method. I believe shift. that's what we want. Oh, no, no, shift removes the, removes the first. We want to, we want to put the first at the end. Okay. No, you can. You have to shift and then um, pop or push. Something like that. I'd like to see. I'd like to see the offset first, and then I'll be, and then I'll be happy. My brain's only there. But once we have the offset, once we have the offset, I can then think about the next bit. As a <laughs> as a person who likes to look a little bit further ahead. <laughs> Well, sometimes I mean, when, you, when I'm doing really hard, complicated things on, and I don't know how to do them, I like just do each step at a time. So new user called said who 12 says SOP. I mean, I, I believe that's what young people mean by what's up. Yeah. Is this a custom oh? score at oh. college? Um, it's me. It's just me. It's the Russell Code score. <laughs> me on my own. I was, oh. actually, I was actually thinking we should do a Saturday or a Sunday and I should just not turn off. For all time's sake, like just so you can no. experience being on your own. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. I would. <laughs> I would. I'd complain to your manager, Russell, and yeah. send in a complaint. I, 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 I do have a manager. Her name is Noodle. <laughs> you will complain to Noodle. Yeah, yeah. Noodle. He's misbehaving. Noodle at hotmail dot com. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's not that, that's not our email address, by the way. If anybody's thinking of emailing that, it's, it's it's probably somebody's email address. I actually like the the nickname Noodle. I Me well. too. I, I think I, it's really cute. I, 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 I'm thinking of starting to call a Noodle. It's really sweet. So, if you, if you want to know a little funny thing about children, so the, I was showering the five-year-olds, and he said that I shouldn't clean him too much. Because if I did, people wouldn't recognise him. <laughs> oh, oh. He, was, he, was, he was like genuinely concerned, like he was being washed too much. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> I was like, you get, people are still going to recognise you. <laughs> oh. um, we're not scrubbing their hide. <laughs> yeah, not, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm, that's so funny. Sweet. Chelsea My Day. niece, she's about five, and she thinks um, she like grew up with YouTube and stuff. And so, whenever my dad like makes a video or like films her or whatever, she's like, "Welcome to my YouTube channel, and today yeah. we're gonna go on the slide." <laughs> yeah. oh. She's like, this "Don't mess up, Papa." No, well, this is the thing. When we were children, we never we never pretended to be YouTube presenters. No. But now they are, and it's terrifying. Apparently, that's the main aspiration of kids nowadays. They made a study, yeah. like become a vlogger or a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh well, it's because goodness. I think they get free stuff. I think that's what it's about. Mm. Okay, if you don't, um, I'm not liking what you've done, Ashley. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, I want, I want, to, I want to see the offset. Oh, of where? Of what? Of wherever we are. Which, which in this case should be zero or one because we're in daylight saving. Making a date. I'm checking it twice. Okay, said said who says nice Arabian painting. I assume that's to Andrea. Are they also Romanian? Yeah, are you also Romanian then. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said he said nice Arabian painting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, this looks more like it, Ashley. Ah, it turned yellow. Are uh, you missing a bracket at the end? There you go. Bracket. Okay. Oh, okay. It's in minutes. It says minus 60. Huh. Okay, we need to get our maths right here then. 
Shit. So, so what does it mean by minus 60? It means that we're, is it saying we're an hour behind GMT? But I thought we were in daylight saving the meter, we were an hour ahead. Yeah, so minus 60 is the normal one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we six. it should be plus 60. But okay, it's saying that's, minus 60. Oh, that's in winter, isn't it? That's how to get to the, no, no, how but in, to get to normal. In winter, it should be zero then. Yeah, so it's minus. Offset. Okay, so we've got to take away 60 to get to GMT, Zulu time, as in time without any offsets. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is going to be fun now. So can you can you divide can you divi divide that by sixty to get hours? Yeah, because I want hours. So I want for simplicity. So you want that new date turn it into hours. Um, what is this course about? Says says so, so, so too. I'll let I'll let Ashley deal with this one <laughs> per usual. You perhaps, dear loving viewer, <laughs> read the description of the video. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay though because you can't always see it because it is hidden down the bottom. Yeah. Basically, we're coding this app to help hold, hold, to track old people. That's it. I wrote the description, so I I would like people to read it. Yeah, it's written in <laughs> React with a node backend. It's true. <laughs> and a bit of Redux in there for fun. In danger, a little danger. Um, no danger. Okay. Oh, okay, I've got minus one now. Okay, that that's correct. Okay, uh, he says, ah, okay, nice. <laughs> so we have this, we, um, I almost want to simulate being in Spain. So Spain would be 120. Hmm. Okay, so Let's imagine that the offset is five. Let, let's imagine the offset is minus five, because it means that they're five hours ahead. Does everybody, does everybody agree on that? Then am I right there? So if you were, if you were in, I don't know, use India. <laughs> if you were five hours ahead in India, then we would see minus five because you need to take five away to get back to zero. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to rotate the array elements by the number of the offsets. So if the offset is five, we need to take either the first element or the end element and move it to the front and do that the number of times of the offset. Why don't we just do like two two splices and then fit like move the chunk? So that sounds, that sounds very cool. So you can do something with either slice or splice where you add something. And I wonder if you can like slice, like cut off the first bit, put it in that bit that you add inside the thing. I don't we know. Could, we could spread we could it's spread out and we could spread out a new array that contains the two things that have been spliced. Oh, said who says with modulo. You could, oh, it says you could change the indexing with modulo. What is that? Is that a library or like modulo? Sounds no, no, like an operator. You did, you, did you did modulo for um, the operator for um, the fizz parentheses, that thing. That's the, the remainder. The yeah, yeah, it does. That's what it gives you. Yeah. Modulo is divided with remainder. With remain, remain, it says remainder. It means remainder. The remainder of the divide. What is it? It's is it slice? Well, what, 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 why can't we just pop and shift? Mm, you don't yeah, want. I, to. I, I, well, you can. I don't know. I'm like thinking about something that I did one time. There might, there might. I mean, there's probably going to be a really neat way of doing it. Um, in fact, yes. It. Okay. So you splice an item and you give it a starting index. And then you can delete none. And then if you add the rest of them in. So I think do that first 
and then get the length of what that second bit is from the index of the first index and then pull it round, pull it round to the end. Okay, that's it. That sounds that sounds right. Um, I'm just looking at scale flow. Um, you can do. I want to splice for the adding bit. And inside the splice, I want to take the first thing minus the index <laughs> where I'm putting them in. I think. But then I also need to remove them from the front after I've done that bit. I think that's the answer. I didn't write that. I found it's like overflow. You don't have to concat. I'm thinking about this. Okay. Here's a, sta a, a, a contrary stack overflow. Okay. So basically, if you can, if you can give me an array that's been that's been sorted, we've basically done. Uh, okay. Time array is like which hours, and you have to get the correct hour based on GMT offset. Yeah, exactly. That's correct. At last, somebody's helping us. Because because the time zone that the form may be filled in maybe maybe not the time zone of the server, um, so we want to make each value be the value of in GMT. You may be wondering if the way of saying the date object. Give me this point in GMT. Right, it's snack time while Ashley has a go at this thing. Index is the new offset. Zero is hope. And then at okay, the end, okay. you so, so, the bit. Yeah, so said who says, so you need all the hours. Yeah, but, but, but we may potentially need to take ones at the end and move them onto the front, onto the, 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 the earliest options and vice versa. Um, which is why I'm thinking of the array as being a circle and we just rotate. Oh, 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 I've, I've got something, Ashley. What? I've got is something. It nine? Yeah. That face right. makes I've not, me... I've not, this isn't the whole solution, but I've just realised something. You know, on line 40, do we need to rotate the array or do we just need to rotate the array index we're accessing? See, that's your, you, you've got thing. the... You've got the same face as me now. Same thing though. The array. What, 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 but, but can't we do something like time dot array zero minus or, or adding on the offsets because it would be it would essentially be rotating. Wait. You can do minus, but what yeah. happens if it's too many? Um okay, it said here was also with a loop, you could set the times correct. Oh, yeah, but we give the times labels as well. Okay, okay. The the option that said who, who has just thought is you know the options we could map over the array. I like and spit, mapping. And we could spit out the answers. This is one of those things where there's loads of ways of solving it. But I'm, I'm I need a snack. So while you while you <laughs> decide on some option, because this is I need brain food, and Andrea's let me down this week. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Um, no. Okay, so what I want to do is time array, and then I want to take time array, and I want to splice it according to the this because the offset it might be positive and it might be negative so Oh, but that's okay because a minus a minus one goes to the very end, so that's actually perfect in array. So it will go boom boom if it's minus two. Okay, no, that's good, 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 good. 
and then a plus one will go from here. Okay. Most excellent. I'm just going to save this to a thing. Need let. Do we? Yeah, we do. And then get rid of zero and then Array minus and then no, this has to be zero, and then time this one. I don't know about this bit. The time array slice. Zero to I think. Let me look up slice. Okay, I have, I have got a, a relatively neat solution here. There's actually a one line solution using the spread operator. Right, what do you think to this? It just unshifting and popping by the number of stuff. That's basically my, oh, House of Dev has arrived. Wag, wa, wag, wan, man, dem. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Wag, wan is, is London, isn't it? That's London. Yeah. Okay, and then he's done. I don't know if that's a, a face. <laughs> just he just he, say, he says just hello from an ironic chubby format. <laughs> right. You are you are welcome. Do you not appreciate my splice solution? Yeah, I want you to finish off trying to do it. Um I this is my first attempt. I have an advantage over you in that I've just read all the answers on Stack Overflow because apparently this, this comes up a lot when people want to like rotate a calendar. They let you go forwards and backwards, so it's not that uncommon a thing. Um, so House of Dev says, how are you doing today? We're all doing good. Well, I am anyway. This is, this is a fun little problem. Like, how do you rotate an input box by an Tom offset? This is real software. Um, oh, I need to do like this dot. Yeah. It seems, what you kind of do seems, broadly speaking, what, what a lot of Stack Overflow solutions are like. Oh. Compiled successfully is a good, good start. Okay, it is a good start. Okay, this is an oh the array the array is empty. Potato is empty. Potato is empty. Oh maybe maybe do I need to make it a let? Um it would tell you if that was the issue. 
I don't know if it would. This dot time array dot splice offset. So nope. start at the index of offset. Remove none. And then this dot time array splice. So zero to this. Oh, I need to do something to this. Uh, no, I'm adding it. I'm adding it at that index. House of, of Dev says, what's the problem being solved? OK, so the problem is that we have, and if you look on the screen now, we have all these options, um, 0 to 23, to set the time that you want a notification. But the time zone the user is in might not be us, which is GM, not the same as us, which is GMT. So we need to render the value of the option box to be the value in GMT, but the option itself to still just be whatever value the user wants to set. So we have an array which contains all the values, and basically we're trying to rotate the array so that the order of the array is the order of the GMT values relative to the local time zones. Whew. That probably wasn't that good an explanation, but that's what that's the answer. I think you're pretty close, Ashley. I so what I want to do is take the time array and splice it at the offset, which is according to the time zone offset. Um, so this might be a negative number and it might be a positive number, but that's OK, yeah. because with arrays, if you have a negative index, it will count from the back. So that's yeah. cool. That's exactly the behavior that we want. Um, and it could be a plus, yes. um, which is fine. And then I want to calculate the rest of the array. So the front bit, so I think you start from zero and then you do all the way up until offset minus one. Um, but I'm not really sure. Is it because we only have one offset? So we're just getting zero. So we're getting zero minus zero. And so we're not adding anything in. I, th I think we need to, I think we need to hard code the offset to 10 just to test it. Okay. Because otherwise it's misleading. 10. See if it's still empty. If it's still empty, it's a different thing. It's empty. Okay. Mm. So what I want to do with the onset is slice the array, which creates a copy, and create a copy of that part that's not the not the bit that I care about. So like the part before the index, the crucial index. And then I want to splice on the offset, delete zero, and then add in on this index the rest of it. Any if suggestions from the populace? If ever, I've, got, I've got a suggestion. If ever you're asked, Delete everything and use code from Stack Overflow. If ever you're asked <laughs> a job interview to explain something clever and how it worked, just tell them what you just told me. Because you, you lost me about halfway through. But, <laughs> but it really sounded like it was clever. <laughs> it, it sounded like you were holding all these complicated things in your mind. We just need to make it work now. Well, I want it to work. But I feel like Russell's solution is delete it and do something else. Which makes me nervous. I, I, I'm, I'm not 100% clear what you're doing, right? Let me just show you this, right? That, that solves the problem. It's well, because you're slicing twice and spreading. Yeah, but that, but that, that, that works and it works positive and negatively. You're splicing twice as well. You're splicing on no, 36. No, I'm slicing and splicing. Okay, but this is, slicing, <laughs> this is slicing and slicing. Okay, said who says I'd love to help, but he's not a JS programmer. Oh, fine. Fair enough, but you might learn something. I think considering time, and I, I, I mean, it's a good effort. To a code pen. I'm going into a code pen. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could be the better. But, but there's like multiple solutions I overflow that kind, and some of them seem very much like what you're trying to do. I'm going into a code pen. I'll come back to you later. Someone else drive. <laughs> okay, so we, shall we just implement this one then? Yeah, I stole it. I stole the whole code that was the other solution. <laughs> okay, so rotate. So basically, if we 
Uh, it's no good to count. So if we just did, let, let's, what's the array called? Time array. Uh, and the count, let's do 10. Oh, rotate is not defined. That's because it's this dot rotate. Okay, users. Okay, that works. That's perfect. Okay, yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 22, 23, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. You see, you, you, Stack Overflow's your friend. Somebody's been through the pain. I get it, but now I've been challenged. Okay, well, we'll expect a, we'll expect a comprehensive solution for next week. Um, okay, so... <laughs> What we need to do, okay, who wants to, who wants to, who wants to type now? Okay, House of Dev says, you mind backseat coding here? We don't mind anything, we're easy going. We'd love, yeah, no. please, please backseat code and invite yeah. your friends to backseat code. <laughs> yeah, yeah, friends help, one. friends backseat code. <laughs> Okay, so basically what we need to do is on 39 is we just now need to make like a new array, which is the, the sorted version of the old one. So instead of console logging it, just put it in a new array. Hey, so Deb says, enjoy writing code along with streams to learn and help. But some streamers are not fun. We don't care what people do. If like, the whole point, this is the Russell Code School, you know, send us a really good solution. That would be great. We're very slow, so please... Uh... Please backseat code. Yeah. You can be friends. You can sit with us. Exactly. <laughs> unless, unless you don't have the correct credentials. Then you can't sit with us and you get a server 500. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorted array. Okay, so Andrea, it's not this dot time array. It's, 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 it's sorted array. Do you want me to do an auto replace to make your life easier? Information Rocket says, time to leave. Um, well, time to leave then. No, hi. Bye. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure she's making a comment to do with the House of Dev guy. Oh, because he's coding along. I don't know. <laughs> right, so instead of this, we have the very array. End. Okay, so it's on lines 52. 52 to the end. It's not time array. It's now the sorted one. Okay, yeah, he, he meant about that you can't sit with us. He says, I don't want to get 500. <laughs> well, maybe you can't use negative indexes. Maybe. No, it's Python. Python will let you, but maybe not in JavaScript. Yeah. Mm. These are the pains that I don't want to suffer. Okay, House of Dev says, does it, um, what framework is this? Does it have concepts like Angular, NG4, etc.? but this framework version, uh, so this is React. So technically a library, not a framework. Um, so it's not pure JS, um, it's JSX, which is like JavaScript with extra stuff in there. It, it, think of it, it's, it's like HTML mixed with JavaScript, um, but it's cool. Okay, Andrea, I think that will... Oh, why is it... Okay, okay. It's not in the class now, is it? So it's not this dot. Uh, this is maybe why you should you should use hooks and go functional, because then you would never have this issue. You never have to write the word this ever again. Okay, confidence is pretty high. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So we now have option boxes, which are the offsets to get you back to GMT. Sweet. Oh. Okay, but instead of, instead of having 10 on line 39, it needs to be the actual time zone. 
Ashley, do you remember the code you deleted? <laughs> because we have we have this we have the same issue with our daylight saving. So we actually currently have the issue ourselves of being one hour out. Where do you want it? Uh, on line thirty nine, instead of sending in ten. Yeah. Okay. So what we should see now is, uh, assuming you're all in the UK. Um, we should see it all, it all being out by one hour. Oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> it might have posed another problem, though. <laughs> okay, right. If you, if you're when we tell the app to, to render out, it's, it's changing it by the offset. If it's supposed to be eight, it's showing nine because we're telling it to, to, to go to a certain value. Uh, I'm not sure why it's doing that. What, we, what we've done works and it's great. It's just it's now exposed something else we might have to do. Because we still want to select the one that would have been the one that was was going to be selected. Does that make sense to anybody but me? I'm not sure. Okay, so if if you go in, if you're going to add a user, currently it's supposed to it's supposed to go to eight p.m. Eight, sorry, eight a.m. to to, to eight p.m. But oh. it says nine a.m. to nine p.m. Yeah. Because now it says, hang on a minute, you're, now, you're in daylight saving. You're an hour ahead. So actually, we need, to, we, need to, we need to change it by one hour. Everything or just the, the default? That defaulting? The, well, well the, the, the default is the one that gets pre-selected. House of Dev says, yeah, round down to the, to the previous hour, essentially. But, but you don't always want to round down because you could actually be in the next day or previous day, depending on which way you're looking at it, I think. But I might be wrong. Because um, we're using the value to choose the option selection and the value to know what time zone. Does that make sense, Ashley? I'm on a different... I'm not... But I... <laughs> we need your brain now. Okay. Okay. I'll... So, okay. So, okay. This is the solution. Okay. We may have done something more complicated than we needed to. So, what's happening is we're using the value to, to decide which drop down selected, but we're also offsetting it for the GMT. So, we're using it for two purposes. Mm. So, what if instead of, um, instead of, doing the offset inside time selector, what if we did the offset before we store it in the state? So each time we get a new value, oh no, no, because it would push the new value back in. This. Maybe we could give the option an ID rather than a value as well. And then we'll read the ID. Oh no, because the, because select has an ID, doesn't it? Can't we just do something like that? You could do data. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Okay. Because um, basically, we need to store two things. One is the actual value of the input box, and one is the offset for each selection. What do you want? Data what? Uh, data offset. Well, actually, why don't you change value to data offset and we'll re-put in the other keys. Yeah, do that for all of them. Uh, and ask Andrea's, Andrea knows a shortcut to edit them all. Is it control paste? If... Oh. <laughs> Sweet. See, this, we can tell you're actually working as a developer now, Andrea. 
<laughs> you don't, yeah. you, you've not got yeah. hours to be typing things out manually. Wait, is it data actually? Yeah, yeah. instead of value. I'm not sure what's the shortcut in. Uh, oh. Uh, Very fancy. Yeah, how did you do that, Andrea? What's the, what's the shortcut? Show your secrets. Yeah. Mm. Uh, shift, option, and uh, just click and drag it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, was, was that Wait, me? what about not, not on a Mac? Yeah, yeah. on the Mac. Is which one's, wait, which shift one's option? option. Uh, is that the command key on the Mac? Damn it. I have. We can't I see have, Andrea. Yeah. yeah. I don't have option or command. I have control shift no. alt, alt. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you've got control and alt. Hmm. Oh, we, uh, let's look at the mess. <laughs> option. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Keep thing. those two pressed and then you just drag them. Oh, okay. Control and alt don't work. Oh, cool. Control and shift don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Control. Shift and alt. Option. I don't know. I don't know what's it on. Maybe shift and alt. I'd... Okay, right. Okay, but then we need to re add in value is going to be the, the original array, the original time array. Wait, I can't. And then each one of those is going to have this dot. Yeah, oh. Sorry, Andrea. That was me doing something. The good thing is about this oh. remoteness, Ashley, is I can't touch your screen. That's true. You can, There's no you, screen meddling. You can re-enable the touch sensitivity. <laughs> I'm used to it now. I didn't want it anyway, but I wasn't like a big screen toucher. I didn't realise that other people would be. <laughs> you didn't realise, or, or you mean one person. <laughs> Listen, if you're teaching people, you need to point to things on the screen. It's true. But then all my windows are closing and things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> Stories to tell the grandkids. <laughs> uh, it probably is. Uh, one time I disabled my touch screen and they're like, you did what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What they'll say is if you didn't use a touch screen, what did you use? <laughs> Just <laughs> like the, the keyboard. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look at that then, Andrea. Add. Oh, sorry, Andrea, you're putting in the whole timer range to everyone. It's element zero, element one, element two. I mean, they could be hard coded, actually. I suppose. Oh, just the first three? No, no, all of them. It needs to be ah. like that okay. for each one. Otherwise, you're uh, putting your element into every one. Too lazy for this. <laughs> you're too lazy, or it's too late. Damn it! I can't do it anymore. Look at this. <laughs> I said I'm too lazy for this. I want to use the shortcut, but I'll start from the bottom anymore. <laughs> I was going to start at the bottom. I was going to start in the middle. And you stop following someone then, or oh. start from the bottom. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and they'll be they'll be strings won't oh no sorry they're not strings because they're indexes. Mm -hmm. 
you could loop around and do negative indexes on an array and now I'm sad because JavaScript doesn't have that. Well, <laughs> this, this is a sad reality. It's the thing, the more you delve into like quirks of things, the more likely you are to go wrong, I think. I like to stick with the vanilla stuff for safety. <laughs> what if PHP does it? Will you be a convert? Yeah. This is normal. I feel like it should, that should work. You should, you Who should, do I have to email? You should, write, you should write to the JavaScript people and say you need to add this to the next iteration. Okay, it's now selecting 8 to 8. All the cool correct. languages do it. Okay, value is 0. Data offset is 23. Okay, so now the only change you need to make now, oh, information rocket says, what if PHP does what? PHP dev incoming. Okay. Okay, Ashley, you explain what you're trying to do in JavaScript then to Information Rocket. Okay. Hello, dearest Information Rocket. <laughs> what I want is when I type my array, square brackets, minus seven, it like counts from the end of the array, like backwards, or this way for you. So the backwards on the, um, on the array. But JavaScript doesn't do that. But some languages do. You can kind of do it if you do minus, um, like the length. But we, I wanted to do it on a time offset. So like sometimes it would be minus and sometimes it would be plus. And like I don't want to minus the minus because then it's a plus. <laughs> These are the problems that modern modern people have. <laughs> I well, I thought I was on to a good thing. But I'm now I'm just disappointed in JavaScript, and I'm considering emailing the people at ECMA. I think you should email them. There might, there's might, there might be some really good reason why they do it that way. They better have a really good reason and some brownies. <laughs> Bro <laughs> <laughs> Magic brownie, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's okay. We're already demonetized, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, information rocket says, wait, why don't you have better indexes then? Um, and I don't know why. Minus one of the index is like not included, so that's undefined. So if it returns a, an array, so if you look for like last index of and it returns minus one, that means it's not in the array. Yeah. Yes, but that's a good point. Why don't you just return undefined? Like, stop being weird. Because, no, because you're asking for an integer. You find index is going to give you back an integer that represents the otherwise it would not be returning an integer. It doesn't always yet. Yeah, well then no. Come from No 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 because because naught is an array index. So it's so null it, is not. Say again. Null is not. Or they could do any well, like they could they could come up with a different something they, broke response. I'd say that seems quite logical using a negative number to represent a value when zero could be a valid result. Yeah, but NAN could never be a valid result. Neither could null, the, the word null. OK, information rocket says, let array, array dot length minus index minus one. I assume oh, that's PHP good. then he's done to show you how to do it. I don't know. Well, OK, I'm so like, in the PHP. Like, <laughs> um, so I'm confused now where we are. So, so we now we now get back from. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about it. If we store the offsets, if we store the the GMT value. When we give it back to the user, it's going to set it back to the GMT value, not the one with the offsets. Do you see what I mean? Because that works. So that sends the server. If you put in eight, it sends four or ten, right? Mm -hmm. But then when, when the user reloads the page, they're given back ten, not four. Uh. 
so it will then. So it stores it in the databases, GMT. As GMT, yeah. But then when the user renders it, so what we're going to have to do is when we render it for the user, we need to also apply the offset in the other direction and put it back to it originally was. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is why it may have been easier to store the offset on the server um, oh. and then just be consistent. <laughs> like, but, you know. <laughs> okay. The good news is we have fixed all but one of the bugs. Okay. And this thing isn't even a bug. This is a feature supporting multiple time zones. <laughs> um, yeah. I need to think about it. I need to think up before we do any more coding on that bit. I need to think up what's the best solution without any implications. Literally, what happens, right? I get, I get, go to bed, put a film on, and within like two minutes, I have the perfect answer that has no problems. <laughs> it's just like I, I code best on my own in silence, well, with the film on. <laughs> Tell me why. With the film, yeah, I don't understand that one. I just like something on in the background. Why are you even paying attention to the film? Not really. <laughs> like, or well, sometimes I do. Then I can take little breaks and like just stop for a minute and then watch what's on the TV. Mm. Um, right, I, I think we should push what we've done to Git because we have mm -hmm. done a lot of changes and they are only on my computer. So sorry, Kim, you don't get to tick off the whole list. It's fine. Next time. Um, can we add one more thing to the list? Because I did can. think of something else. That this is actually something that's missing rather than broken. Yeah. Um, you know when we were talking about the notification thresholds and the user gets the puzzle wrong three times, and let's say they've set it to three, we don't actually do anything because they got it wrong. We just accept it as a valid solution. So actually, if they... If they if the challenge, to, if when we get a submission, the challenge attempt threshold has been reached, we need to send them an email saying that Granny tried too many times. So we need to add that bit of functionality in. Okay. Um, but I think that that shouldn't be too tricky, and I think we'll be able to do that on Thursday. We'll definitely be able to fix this time bug on Thursday. Okay. And then I think we. We do the wrapper and the push notification stuff for the React Native and push it to the App Store. Not in one evening, but... Or we might push it to the App Store before we do the push messaging just to see how it works before we do any more. Are you going to hold your eyes open, Andrea? Yeah. <laughs> because Andrea's... <laughs> <laughs> I went to sleep at like two in the morning or three. Ouch. <laughs> but unfortunately, you didn't, you didn't sleep until 11, though. No, I had to wake up at nine. Ouch. If I was, if I was getting up at nine, I'd be in bed asleep by half ten. <laughs> I, need, I, I need my sleep. I can never go back to sleep before midnight. It's annoying. And if I were to drink coffee, like, <laughs> no way, That's I wouldn't it. sleep at all. Um, who wants my terminal? <laughs> Me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You need to find some really, like, worrying command that you can copy and paste in and see my reaction, like... <laughs> Yeah, it's really just like pony, some like pony something. Yeah. Pony. Or, or Rick Roll. Yeah. Roll. Just Rick Roll. That's when you okay. play Rick Astley and someone doesn't want you to. So House of Deb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. House of Deb say, is this stream coming to a coming to a close? For this evening, it is. We are back on Thursday at half past six. So normally we do half six or half nine every Tuesday and Thursday. We leave earlier if we come to a new problem and we know it's going to take longer than half an hour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we don't like starting something new or because literally we'd spend half an hour trying to fix it and not fix it or I'll fix it in five minutes on my own and then tell you how to do it. 
But so is this a bad thing or a good thing that the stream's coming to an end? <laughs> like, yes, it's coming to an end. <laughs> but look at all that. Look at all those files we've changed. Um, okay. So basically, all we did was like little bug fixes, and yeah. we stabbed at making time round. Well, we've done half of it. We've done the bit to actually be able to submit a, an offset. We've not done the bit that means that when you retrieve an offset. Okay, uh, House of Devs says, bit of both. Sad it's ending as was fun for 10 minutes, but here, but I was here, lol. But friends want to play some zombies so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm, re I'm, okay. I'm reading that out for beta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. I hope they're flexbox zombies. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, do flexbox zombies. I like flexbox zombies. It was fun. I remember you saying, I thought it's very odd. You, you start liking flex, start start liking CSS generally. <laughs> like, come on, you gotta admit it's an odd, it's an odd thing. What? CSS. You can write entire chunks of rules, and they have no effect on the on your program. If you if you make one typo in JavaScript, the whole thing falls apart. <laughs> but that means you write stuff, and, you, and nothing happens. And I don't like that. Things should happen when you write stuff. It's too it's too forgiving. It isn't very strict. Like, why can you write a rule that it's definitely going to ignore? It should tell you that rule's impossible. Mm. It would help people learn. <laughs> are you still trying to fix this index thing, Ashley? Yeah. Or are you over it? Mm, not sure if I'm over it yet. <laughs> okay, so it's going to bounce now. Um, was fun. See you Thursday if I'm free. Yes, see you Thursday. Yeah, please come. Tell Bye. us how many zombies you killed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, people, unless anybody's got an objection, I think we should call it an evening. <laughs> no. Cool. And, and uh, cool. I, will see, I will see everybody on Thursday. We might just yeah. finish. We might just finish it in essence. Oh my god! Well, apart from apart from the notifications and the app and all that, but I mean the app the app itself. Yeah. I'll get you more pizza. Then. Yeah. We'll have, <laughs> no, we'll, we'll have a we'll have a celebratory pizza and Drake can buy everybody a pizza. <laughs> we'll have <Okay>. it synchronized. <laughs> what am I gonna do with the money? Well, I suppose. Other than buying pizza. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Bye. Call everybody. Bye. 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 B